What? A tin is a gold travel shop. What? A tin is really hot. Okay, let's go. Time for breakfast. Good morning, Marmy. Today is Tuesday, November 7th, I think. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday, November 7th. It's 6.45. I went to the gym, came back. I was home by like 6. So I got up super early, like 4.30. And I went upstairs to go see if the kids like were up or if Harper was going to the gym or whatever. This time change thing is just like the bane of every parent's existence. Like the kids are like up. They were up since like 6. Like the beer was like up since the time I came home. 6 o'clock because the time change feels like it's 7 so now I'm just like oh my god I'm so tired but it's okay they're up and hopefully we'll be on time for school I mean, so it's positive so, good morning good morning, good morning Kabir good you're tired so I'm just gonna get the kids set up for breakfast and stuff the plan for today is to transition the kids clothing from fall to winter it is cold enough for winter stuff I've got a ton of like a ton of stuff like baskets and baskets full of winter stuff like hats gloves and all that kind of stuff I don't know what I need to keep and what I need to get rid of so I'm gonna do that today and so today is all about transitioning from fall to winter my friends get to it soon but first breakfast and coffee and cute little Ajit ties hello Ajit fire truck okay come let's have breakfast okay yeah Okay, let's have breakfast. Where the bread? What? A tin is a gold travel shop. What? A tin is really hot. Okay, let's go. Time for breakfast. Hey guys, so it's a nine o'clock, and I'm going to start this whole decluttering thing. But first. If you don't know me, you should know me. My name is Tina. I'm a mom boss of three boys. Subscribe to my channel, hit that little bell notification. It's free. All it does is tell you when I upload a new video. And lately I've been having the urge to go live sometimes when it hasn't been scheduled or when I didn't tell you guys about it. So if you hit that bell notification, you'll know when I de decide to spontaneously go live because it might just happen one day soon. So be sure to subscribe, hit that button. All right, let's get started. I am about to organize and prep the kids stuff from fall to winter so here at the front you can see we have these coat hooks and you know honestly like I wanted like cubbies and all the fancy kind of stuff and I just didn't have room for it here like my front kind of angles here a little bit so they just wouldn't fit and I'm not organized enough to plan that so I just got this um, hook here I bought it from Ikea so a lot of you guys have seen it I actually love it because it keeps the kids stuff all in one place organized and off the floor so as you can see here, I've got loads and loads and loads of baskets up here, piled full of stuff. I don't really know what fits them, what doesn't. It seems like their coats from last year are, are, are great on them still. Their snow pants should be great as well. So I'm gonna try to organize what I can and donate what I don't need. Just sort of keep maybe an extra one or two things because you never know with winter, you know, kids lose hats and stuff like that or leave them at school. So I'm gonna keep some of the extras, but I'm gonna go through all of it and try to decluttered as best I can. This is another thing that just gets piled on along with keeping like old clothes that don't fit. Last night I actually spent a bunch of time um, in the kids closet and now it's like completely clean. I cleaned out like all these small clothes. Uh, one of my girlfriends, Parm, you guys know Parm, she has um, a nine month old and so I'm handing her down some of the stuff that will fit for this season for him and the rest of the stuff I'm donating. Like she doesn't have room to sort of store the extra stuff that would fit him later and I don't blame her like again that's more clutter let's just use things as we need them so that is a whole lot of stuff some stuff doesn't even belong here these are parts for my robot vacuum oh my god we need to work this out believe all this stuff like I'm holding on to that won't even fit like it won't even fit a Jeep like it's all too small for everyone so this needs to go this needs to be donated a lot of it's in good condition some of the ones that are a little bit more worn like this one I will get rid of this but otherwise like I mean these crib shoes this was the kids pair of first shoes like I think it was everyone's first pair of shoes so I think I'm probably gonna hang on to these ones just because they're super cute and kind of just a memory so I will hang on to this um, put it in the place where I'm keeping all of their 
you know, first outfits and everything else, so I'll keep these. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it was the first pair of shoes for all of them. Even all these boots, like they're in great condition, they've only worn them a handful of times, but they don't fit, so let's get them out of here. In terms of the baskets, it didn't too, do too badly. So this is like just a bag, uh, like a box of random stuff, like shoe cleaner, shoe polishes, some parts for my robot vacuum, and I and like there's an umbrella. I'll pro I have some other umbrellas. I'll probably stick them in here as well. Here I've got um, hat, scarves, and gloves for the adults. And you see, I have my like baseball hat in here too, but it's okay. It's all of our stuff. Um, and so long as it fits in one basket, that's I think that's okay for now. Here is all of my um, hats for the kids. And here are all of the gloves for the kids and a few pairs of extra shoes. And this is all donation. So this is the whole other area I have for my kids. As you can see, it's like stuffed, stuffed, stuffed. I'm gonna try to see what I can take out of here too. And they've got some boots and look, water shoes down there. They need to go into baskets too, because we don't need them now. Okay, so I've organized this a bit. So these are all of their fall kind of spring coats. So like some thinner coats, some vests and stuff. And on the bottom here, I put my extra like winter clothes. So like there's like a size 3T jacket, there is um, a thinner 2 to 3T coat, and a couple of extra pairs of snow pants in size like 2 and 3T. So I can use these depending on what size Ajith is going to fit into. And in, in these most accessible cubbies, these ones that are kind of like at eye level for the kids, in one of them I've got all my stuff for Jorah. So there's, I don't know if you can see it, sorry it's a little bit dark, but there's like a hat, gloves, and his boots, and same thing for Kabir, hat, gloves, and boots. And now what I need to do is when they come home from school, they need to try all this to make sure it fits. And if it doesn't, then we have alternatives sort of in here and see if any of those fit. And if they don't, then that means it's time to buy new stuff. I'm actually really glad I did this because I thought I needed new everything, but it turns out of everything in their size, like snow pants, coats. I think these gloves are gonna fit them. I think the hats are gonna be fine as well. The boots they need to try. Now obviously once they start wearing the boots I won't keep them in the cubbies. It's just for today so they're out of my way and organized and when they come home I make sure I get it done and then I got a proper shopping list. So Ajith definitely needs new boots. Um, he doesn't have a pair that fit. Okay so two bags of donation and they're all good condition. It's all good condition stuff. I've got just a coat and um, a pair of Jordans which are like so super cute for uh, for Jushin, Parm's kid, and just a hat and boots and see if she wants it. Garbage is only this much and the rest is all donation, so I would call this a success. The cupboard is much tidier. I still have just as many baskets and I actually moved the gloves into the same basket as the hats because the shoes were getting overloaded. So like I've got soccer cleats, water shoes, like all that stuff and it still fits them. It's like for next season. Whether it'll fit them next season is a different story, but I gotta keep it till then to find out. And I took the backpacks and put them all in one backpack and put it up at the top, and this is the end result. So Ajith is getting really bored, so I'm gonna play with him for a little bit. We gotta pick up this Lego, but I feel so good that I've now like transitioned to winter stuff. Like I said, their winter coats are gonna go here, and in the cubbies over there they've got their hat scarfs and boots and they can grab it all from one place. And I've got other things to add in there like as it get colder and colder like the neck warmers and stuff. Hey guys, so I took a shower and stuff and then put on more workout clothes because my trainer was actually here and he wanted to shoot a video like at our place. Um, 
he's starting like a new online thing. So he wanted to shoot a video here with me. So I did that quickly. Thankfully, my mother-in-law came home at that time. So Wajid was watching, you know, YouTube videos upstairs and she was able to sit with him for like 30 minutes. And then we had lunch and he's now taking a nap over on the sofa. He was very resistant. This time change has got everyone like, whatever. Moms, are you feeling overwhelmed? This is like every fourth vlog for me. Like, I'm feeling overwhelmed. And I think it's just the nature of my life right now. And I think that's the nature of a lot of moms' lives. Not just moms, everyone. Everyone in the world is busy. Like, there's no one who's sitting around with all kinds of free time, I don't think. I've never met anyone who's like, oh, I've got so much free time. Never. So I'm actually sitting down. I'm thinking to try making a schedule, like a daily schedule, because I'm running into all kinds of mom guilt when I'm trying to get things done. Like, I had a bunch of forms and stuff to fill out um, for YouTube stuff, and then... Um, I'm working on some other videos, which is like more sponsored content, um, which had to be edited and everything else. And so I was doing that and just like, I feel guilty that I'm not sitting and playing with Ajith and he, he's good playing on his own for a while, but then sometimes he wants me to sit and play with him. And I find that very hard because I'm trying to get other things done. And I feel like I'm just trying to get him to do something else so I can finish what I'm doing. And I feel like it's leading to all kinds of mom guilt and I don't like doing that. Um, so I'm thinking to do a schedule where it's like, okay, that's fine. I can do whatever I need to till like 10 a.m. Um, cause like he has breakfast in that time and he like runs around and plays and his dad's home in between that time usually. And then at 10 a.m. to say, okay, like from 10 to 11 a.m. It's devoted, like Ajit time. And then at 11, let's say I give myself like 15, 20 minutes to catch up on email and whatever. And then back to him again. It'll kind of limit the amount of time like... I'm just looking at my phone and catching up on stuff and like section it out a little bit. So like Marmy, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys have suggestions? I'm thinking, like I said, to do this like time in kind of thing where it's like from 10 to 11, we're just doing stuff together, um, no screen time and just, you know, um, maybe, you know, working on numbers or counting or whatever, or just whatever, just playing. And then, you know, telling myself, okay, so now I have 20 minutes to do this. And then it's fine if he's maybe watches a 10 minute video and then read like, plays with his toys for 10 minutes I think he'll be better off and I'll be better off too just like from the emotional standpoint and the stress standpoint and you guys know I've talked about it before that I do like I do suffer from anxiety like not just like oh I'm anxious like like I actually suffer from anxiety and so I feel like I'm kind of struggling with that right now like as much as I'm trying to like stay focused and like work out and drink enough water and everything else just trying to balance everything you need to do to be to improve your well-being is hard enough so um if you guys have suggestions or things you think i could do to sort of decrease the amount of stress and now there are going to be people who come to me and say like oh oh you need a break you're doing too much or whatever and you know sometimes i do do too much but i'm i'm nothing if not a hard worker i'm definitely a hard worker and like i know a lot of people who, you know, try to start like a YouTube thing or a vlogging thing, whatever, and they can't continue, especially people with families, even people without families, because it's just so much work. Um, but I'm nothing if not a hard worker. And so I'm not gonna give up on my goals because I'm, you know, currently taking care of kids at home um, because it's okay to follow your passion, apparently. So it's okay to pursue things for yourself. Um, I just wanna sort of find a balance in the daytime um, so that I just can get rid of that anxious, like, kind of like, oh, so I got to do this, I got to do this. And then the feeling of like, oh, Ajit needs me and, and everything else. So it's always, we're always trying to find that balance, right, mom? Always trying to find that balance. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I'm always trying to find it. But one thing I do feel great about is that we did that whole, um, transitioning to winter clothing. And you know what? Every year what I've done is just go buy a bunch of stuff, like every year. And then that's why I have so much stuff. And this year I'm like wait, I'm just gonna be spending money on nothing. These kids don't even need it. Like they have everything they need. So I'm actually really, really happy about it. Um, and that's something I'm really feeling great about today. So let's do this. Like we're gonna say one thing we're feeling great about. I feel really great. One that I worked out this morning and got up at 4.30 to do it. I'm super proud of myself. I may have had some Halloween chocolate after that, but that's not the point. The point is that I went and I'm focusing on well-being and loving myself the way I am, striving to be better every day. And if sometimes there's some chocolate, that's not the end of the world. And the second thing I'm really happy about is the decluttering of the closet and transitioning everything to the winter stuff. I feel really, really good about it. So if you guys are trying something similar or have done something similar or have tips for me, share them in the comments down below. Share them for the rest of the army because I feel like I just saved myself at least 50 bucks and like a whole lot of stress and a whole lot of stuff.
So let us know in the comments down below what you guys do and what tips you have. I would love to know. Big kids are home. Cubby, where did you get these gloves from? This is your cubby right here. Jordan's home too. This cubby is yours. Look right here. This cubby is right there. I want you to take out your boots and try them on. Try your hat, try your boots, and try your gloves. Kabir, you can start trying your gloves. That's Kabir's right there, yeah. So, okay, come on, try it on. But your boots are not gonna go in here after you start using them. It's just for now, right? They stay in the tray. Where's your toe? Is this your toe? Yeah. Okay, you might need a new pair. Does it feel tight or feels okay? Okay, did you try your hat? Go try your hat, please. Can we just put your stuff on first before your gloves, guys? Up close? Oh, that's still a good fit, too. How is it? Come over here, look in the mirror. Are you sure? Does it feel too tight? Look in the mirror. Look how good you look. So these are too small, right? So let's put these away. They're still in good condition and you can use them. Here, okay. Okay. Jora, you need new boots to be are these boots okay for you? Yeah. Okay. So Jora, you, gotta, you get to pick out new boots. Yeah. Basement playtime. So I made some uh, pasta for the kids. One kid likes white sauce, the other two like mixed sauce, red and white, or just red sauce. Uh, yes, mom, 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 mom. Wow. Look at all those jumps, guys. I like them. Whoa. Good exercising, guys. Ajith has found all the Hot Wheels tracks. Whoa. And Jora, did you guys make that track? Yeah, good. So you can try it out. There's a jump at the end. Try it out, guys. There's, which one? Let me see. Cool one. Come here. Don't pull it apart. Okay, good job. What do you have? See, like, remotes for random, like, tracks and stuff? Well, as long as you're having fun, my friends. Hey, guys. So it's 8 o'clock. The older two kids are asleep. Ajith is still going strong, but Harper came home and he's taking over bedtime. Thank God, because I have to edit this vlog and upload it for tomorrow morning. Actually, I was asking my trainer if he was free to see me like tomorrow morning so I could go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week because I have, a, I'm going out on Thursday night with my girlfriends, finally on my God girls night. And then I figured it would be hard for me to get up on Friday. Um, and he was not available first and he messaged me at like 7 saying if you're still up for it Let's meet and I was like I I I took like half an hour to think about it And I wasn't sure if Harper was gonna make it home on time to take her bedtime with a Jeep And he can sometimes take forever to go to sleep. My kids are not sleep trained. So like sometimes I could take forever and I decided that I'm just gonna go on Thursday like I told him I'm like I'm gonna be up late probably editing a vlog and so it's better if I just sort of catch up on sleep and not even sleep. I'll probably will get up early as well. I've just got other work to catch up on. It's just so many things to do all the time. My God, this is part of the overwhelming anxiety, but I'm doing good. I had a good evening, like kind of trying to put my phone down, not as well as I should have, but I tried to put my phone down. I tried to like remove myself from like work mode and try to do stuff with the kids. They did some paintings and stuff like that. They played really nicely with the chef. They did some Lego we played in the basement and they were asking me a few times, saying, mom, play with me, play with me. And so I felt bad. So I'm like, I really need to focus on them when they're home. So I think I did a better job in the evening. And so I'm feeling proud of that, that it worked really nicely. And now tomorrow, especially when this vlog gets released, I'm thinking I'm gonna take Ajit to the drop-in program I normally take him to. I haven't taken him in weeks and weeks and weeks, like since probably the beginning of October. So it's been over a month. And he enjoys it. There's a lot of work for me there because he's running around everywhere. But he's engaged, he's playing with other kids. He'll do paint and crayons and everything. I've got all that at home, but again, it's like sitting down with him, getting to do it. And if I'm there, I won't be doing work, hopefully. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So I'm gonna be going live on YouTube on Friday, November 10th at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to be talking all about my 2017 bucket list. That's right. There is a list on my phone that I made like in January that I was supposed to accomplish this year. So I haven't opened it since. So let's open it, look at it together and probably share some laughs. So join me then 2.30 Friday, November 10th on YouTube. Anyways, 
I hope you guys had fun joining us today. And if you did, join us again next time. If you enjoy our vlogs and videos, subscribe to our channel and stay well. Join the Marmy. March on, Marmy.